in this video you will learn about the viewport layout we need to create an object first on the screen so let's say we create a box the top view is active box want to start from the center C enter the center of the base is 0 enter I create the base I drag vertically up I create the box under the perspective view I would like to see it as shaded so I select shaded now with the right click I can simply rotate my perspective view to see it from the different angles which I want to now I click on the arrow next to the perspective I go into viewport layout when I click on new viewport a new viewport is created and again this viewport appears above all the other viewports and I can simply change this viewport to any specific view which I would like to see it as so for example let's say I would like a perspective view over here so I could change this I could change it or if for example let's say I go to set view I could get it back to the front view so in the front view once I am done I can come back over here I can go to viewport layout and again click on for viewport so the new viewport will get hidden the next option what we will see over here is under the viewport layout we have float viewport the, sp the specific viewport which is selected will become like a float so I could simply move it we generally use this when you have multiple monitors and you want to move this particular view to a different monitor now since we do not have multiple monitors attached over here but that's one of the applications so I can again come back over here I can again go back to the viewport layout I can simply say dock viewport the same way I can select this specific viewport which is the top viewport I select the drop down I go to viewport layout and I can again say float viewport so in that case the top viewport is basically is floated I can basically move it wherever I want once I'm done I simply click back over here I go to viewport layout and I say dock viewport I can go back to the perspective viewport viewport layout I have split horizontal and split vertical if I say split vertical it will split that specific viewport in two specific viewports now let's say I want perspective view in this way and I want it this way also so I have perspective I have two perspective views and both basically belong to that specific viewport that is perspective the same way I go into the right I come up over here I go to viewport layout and I again say over here split vertical since I have the right I would like to see the left view over here so I simply click I go to set view I go to left so over here I can see the right viewport I can see the left viewport so once again I can come up over here I can go back to viewport layout now I can say once I am done and I only want I want to go back to my original four viewports I can simply come up over here and select on four viewports I'm back to the specific screen.